this uh, thing that happened in Lebanon is it something Allah Zawajal is sending us a signal that we need to be careful that we are heading towards the wrong 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 direction inshallah this video I will be talking about that but before we talk about this I want you to consider subscribing if you are new to this channel because we talk about the coming of the Mahdi, the Jal, and the end of time a lot in this channel. So again, consider subscribing. One of the things that we have to understand is what is the situation we are in right now before we talk about whether this thing that happened in Lebanon was a punishment or was a signal from Allah Azzawajal. Obviously, whatever happened in Lebanon, it is by the permission of Allah Azzawajal. Allah Zawajal, he mentioned in the Quran, he confirmed that, that ma asaba min musibatin illa bi iznillah. That whatever musibah falls on you, it is by the permission of Allah Zawajal. It is not something Allah was not aware of or something just happened and Allah, Allah goes like, oh, I did not know this will happen. No, this is not how it works. Allah knows everything. Allah actually knew it 50,000 years before he created the whole, you know, the heavens and earth. So he knew it. Uh, the question is, did he do it? Was it uh, his command? Of course, with his command. But remember, Allah Azawajal also mentioned that bad things happen because of your hand, what it has earned. Bad thing doesn't happen because Allah wanted to punish you. Allah will punish you in the hereafter, not here. Yes, sometimes he, he, he will punish you here too, but mostly it is because of your bad action that you earn that punishment. It is not that Allah is like, okay, you did not pray Fajr, I'm going to punish you with a thunderbolt. It doesn't work that way. So the question is, what happened in Lebanon, right? Was it something Allah Azawajal decreed for us to punish us? For that to understand, we have to think about our situation. The people of Lebanon, are they religious? What kind of religion they're following? What is their lifestyle? Things like that. Where they're heading? Are they indulging in dunya too much? Are they enjoying this life too much? Are they, uh, uh, are they becoming a, a role model as a, as a fitna for the rest of humanity? And they are taking other people astray with them? So these are the questions we need to ask. The answer to that question, unfortunately, yes, because Lebanon, especially Beirut, is called the Paris of of Middle East. I believe it or not, Lebanon is called the Paris of the Middle East, France, Paris, right? You remember that? So when we talk, compare Paris with Lebanon, basically we're saying that Lebanon has Khamar, means uh, alcohol. Lebanon is open to fornication, Lebanon is open to many other things. Uh, it was influenced by Western culture, in other words. And this is perhaps why French President uh, Macron, Emmanuel Macron, he showed his full support for, for Lebanese people. And I was thinking, why he's doing that? He was the first European president, uh, according to my knowledge, who actually extended his hand for the Lebanese people. And I'm like, why? Why France? Why not Germany? Why not UK and in other countries? Of, obviously, those countries also said that, but after France. France was very quick. So the, the, the answer to that question would be why France is doing it is because France is happy. Lebanese people, they are not following Islam the way they should. Most of them. I'm not talking all the Lebanese people and I'm not blaming anyone but except myself. And the reason is because I am responsible for you know things that happen with Muslims because I'm not in other words I'm not telling them the right thing I'm not influencing them I'm not motivating them I'm not encouraging them to do good things rather I'm either silent or I'm doing the opposite so when something happens in Lebanon I hold myself responsible for that as well because I'm a Muslim the question is, uh, so going back to the point, France, they extended their hand and, and that is because of similar culture between France and Lebanon, especially Beirut, and we see that they are buddy-buddy now. Allah Azawajal, he mentioned, the, to answer your question, whether this was a signal, whether this was a punishment from Allah Azawajal or not, to answer that question, I'm going to quote you a very, very beautiful ayat from the Quran, very, very short, and this ayat is actually from Surah Al-Yusuf. Allah Azawajal talks about messengers, you know, messengers who came before 
us who conveyed people with the message of Islam and they told them follow Islam and this and that until Hatta is a Tayyasu Rasulu until the Rasul Tayyasu Rasulu they became despair means they gave up hope and wadhannu annahum qad kudibu and they were certain wadhannu annahum qad kudibu that they were certain that their message will be denied and listen to this ayah so the, the messengers they got despaired hatta idha tayyasu rasul you know wadhannu qad kudibu and they were 100% sure that people are not going to follow their message listen to this you want to know whether this was a punishment or, or not? Listen to this. The next thing Allah said, Jahum nasruna fanujia mandasha. Okay, this is very, very interesting. Jahum nasruna. Allah said that I sent my victory to whomever I will. After the messengers were rejected or denied, they were sure that their message will be denied. The next, very next thing Allah said is that I sent my victory over people. And you know what victory Allah is talking about? That victory is the punishment. So it is not a victory of, well, people, you know, disbelieved and they started believing because Allah sent them a miracle. No. Allah sent them a punishment, not a miracle. And listen to this ayat. It's, it's not finished yet. Very interesting ayat. You will find all the reasons in it. The ayat goes on to say, Fanujia man nashaw, and then I uh, rescued those I, I willed, Allah wished. And then he said, the last thing, Wala yuraddu ba'asuna anil kaumil mujrimin. Wala yuraddu ba'asuna anil kaumil mujrimin. Allah Azawajal is saying, and the punishment cannot be averted for the people of mujrimin, criminal. Because the messengers were denied, uh, Allah sent down his Nasr, his uh, victory, and he said that the people, the Mujrimun, their uh, punishment could not have been avoided. Now the question is, obviously, in our time, we do not have a messenger, right? We say, well, we already had a messenger, uh, Rasulullah why, why, why would we deny a messenger? Like, we are all, all Muslim, right? We have accepted Rasulullah as our messenger, uh, so we should not be punished. But if you if you take a look at the reality of our, of us, the way we live today, we are in a way denying the messenger. We are in a way rejecting and refusing Sunnah. A lot of people actually are rejecting Hadith these days. They don't want to believe in the the Jal in you know the Mahdi, the end of time. They are giving up on many Sunnah. They don't follow Bukhari or Muslim. They don't. And so yes, in that case, of course, we are denying the messenger. And then we all we are also denying the messenger when we have the Quran in front of us, but we never open the book or contemplate on the meaning. Uh, so in in many many ways, uh, maybe subconsciously, we are denying the messenger, or consciously we are denying the messenger. We do not think that a lot of things that are halal for us is any more halal. In fact, we have flip-flopped we have made a haram halal halal haram whenever we need it according to our needs so yes uh, the incident that took place in lebanon we have a lot of things to learn a lot of things now the question uh, the answer that i will give you whether it was a punishment uh, of course it was a punishment we need to take that as a punishment even though um, it could be otherwise, even though it could be a test from Allah Azza wa or a, a warning shot, you know, people fire in the sky and give a warning shot, even though it could be that, but it's still we need to take it seriously. Because if we want to be on the safe side, then we need to act on it. And we need to change our course, our way of thinking and our, our action. I mean, take a look at the Muslims around the world. Our situation is just getting worse and worse. I'm talking about you know the countries fighting it with each other competing for wealth more and more uh, everybody is uh, you know they're you know, they're competing for dunya situation is getting worse countries are fighting for you know wealth uh, reputation status money you name it um, so dear brothers and sisters one thing that i want you to take a take away from this video 
which is a sincere advice to myself first of all adinu nasiha is that we have a lot of work to do uh, it is what the, the situation we are living right now is just going to get worse and we already have this covid-19 11 and they they struggled with covid-19 and i made a video i spoke about it in my morning news when i was reading the news and articles i mentioned that lebanon was suffering from this uh, covid-19 economically um, you know medically you name it they are their hospitals are overwhelmed with number of patients they are receiving every day so things are not looking good we need to wake up and uh, you know as the prophets before said ya qaum istaghfiru rabbakum thumma tubu ilayhi you know imdudukum bi amwal wa banin wa yazidukum quwwatan bi quwwatikum you know if you ask allah to forgive you he will forgive your sins and he will give you strength more strength he will give you you know yursil sama alaykum midrara he will send rain for you why is so many blessings in istighfar is because we are uh, supposed to be doing istighfar to for our own prosperity but it is not happening as the exact opposite is happening many countries muslim countries i'm talking about they don't get rain they don't get uh, natural resources they are suffering their their oil their natural resources are being plundered so why is we are in in this state is because we do not make enough istighfar and this is a reminder to myself inshallah um so like this video share this video subscribe to this channel if you're new here and i'll see you soon again assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh